pounds. Look at that pastel. Look at that. Those are definitely two different shapes. Absolutely stunning. And welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video is a very exciting one. So Beauty Bay once again have launched another collection. I don't think they've done a whole collection before, but this has, uh, this is like their first collection, I think it is. This is their summer collection called Utopia, which I think is, let me just show you. So the packaging kind of looks like this. It's like this purple and like tealy, greeny color. And I absolutely love the like idea and thoughts of this so this is a picture of the collection in whole so yeah before i get into this video please do make sure that you are subscribed because why not join the family so yeah let's get into this video so this actually launched yesterday i paid for next day delivery was it expensive yeah it was but we move i'm actually really sad i've messaged beauty bay because i've opened one of the uh, shadows that I got and I don't think we can use this today because of this and it is completely smashed and this ch cost me five pounds and it is like smashed to blitherings like look it's just falling apart in the inside which I'm actually really upset about because I was so excited to use this but I guess we can't um I might use a tiny bit for like my inner corner and brow bone maybe but we'll see how difficult it is to like pick up because it is gonna go absolutely everywhere and that is just gonna stress me completely out and i don't want that so yeah the next part of the collection is their waterliner palette i'm telling you these are affordable first of all this is heavy <laughs> this is 12 pounds and you get five waterliners and you get this like corally orange called electric then you get this like light purple called days then you've got pixie which is the deep purple flora which is the like tealy greeny and then you've got burst which is the bright pink and this i think is absolutely worth the money 12 pounds there are companies that sell individual shades of this for like 12 pounds like suva for one pot of active liner is 12 pounds you get five for 12 beauty bay just coming out again do you know what as soon as i saw that they were gonna launch this they put it on the website like a week early and it made me really confused because it was like oh yeah coming soon da, 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 this. and i didn't like how they did that because we were waiting for ages to get it and i i was a little bit like come on just let us buy it so this launched yesterday and i got it and then there is the pigment palette the only thing i didn't buy was the glosses because there were three mini ones for 15 pounds and i just to be honest i don't need another gloss if you think about what's on my lip it's from like yesterday's video so uh, so this is Soph's lip combo because it's genuinely my fave thing now. So this is the palette. If you actually recognise this palette and like the format, I'm not going to lie. I actually think this is a brighter version of their pastels palette here. But this is what it looks like and this retails £10. The same as their pastels. But the pastels, I'll actually go get it. Let me go get it and I'll show you. This is their pastels palette for £10. And this is what this one looks like. And then if you recognise it, this is kind of what they try to do. It's like a brighter version. So this is the pastels and then this is the brighter version. So if you can kind of see, they are pretty much the same palette. A few shades are a bit mumbo jumboed. But that's pretty much the same thing but you've got the pastels and now you've got the brights and this is a full-on pressed pigment palette so these aren't our shadows these are pressed pigments and they are gonna stain or some of them might so be prepared if you get what i mean i've actually got a really good idea of their campaign for their campaign they did like these butterfly looks they did look with the eyeshadow and then they did the liner with these liners and i'm thinking of doing different butterfly on each eye uh just for like the campaign and it'll be a fun little video and a little bit different from what everyone else is going to be doing because i know everyone's just gonna put like a little swoop or something but i want a full-on like butterflies on my face i'm excited for this absolutely so let's get into today's video i am so buzzing but i'm trying to think of like the color scheme i want to do so i definitely want to use this liner this orange one this pink one i definitely i want to use them all but i don't know how i don't know how but yeah they are water activated do you know what this is really heavy i wish i really want them to come out with more of these if these gonna work this good i really want them to have more um i did a very orangey blush heavy type of look i didn't really put bronzer on this side i did cream contour but i didn't do bronzer because i knew i was gonna do something really colorful and stuff so that's what i did but um i'm actually gonna see what these swatch like so we, i'm gonna swatch these um so put 
water on each one okay now let me put it down i want to see how well these work because i want them to be very almost instantly they've caused they've made an activated liner that is so bright okay now on to the next one let me actually go into purple the purple actually is coming off lighter than it is in the pan so this is a proper pastel purple i don't actually have anything like this so that's that one. Oh, this deep purple was deep look now i'm gonna go into the green now let me go into the pink so this is all five shades it is very vibrant I don't, i'm not sure if it's showing off the vibrancy but they are very very good i don't see any crackling into my skin lines at all which is good but this is what i meant by the shades look a little bit lighter when they are wet so if you see on this one and this one they're a lot lighter but to be honest i don't mind that um, i'm actually going to close that so it doesn't cause a mess I actually really like how it's like a snappy one as well. I like the way they've done it. And now let's swatch this palette. So I'm going to go from this way to this way. So the first few shades are Halicon, Bliss, Eden, Midsummer. Then you've got Dreamland, Blaze, Serene and Paradise. Okay, I'm actually going to swatch them down my arm. Nothing on there. So let's go in with the first few sh first four shades. Ooh, look at that pastel. Come on, beauty babe. You don't, by now we all know Beauty Bay does, it's actually my favourite eyeshadow brand and I can tell you that now because they never seem to disappoint and I love Beauty Bay. That pink was a little bit like dusty but that's fine. We've got this true red in here which I actually really like. So those are the shades, look at them, they look stunning. So we have the first shade, Halicone, that's a pastel, one swatch. Let's actually go over it. See, this is how eyeshadow should be. Then we have... Bliss, look at that. Let me do another one. I just then we have Eden, as in the Garden of Eden, Garden of Eden, maybe. This is like a lime, and I quite like that. Then we have Midsummer, which is the red. So that is the first row. Beauty Bay just know how to do eyeshadows. Just look at that. <sighs> if I could just use one eyeshadow brand for the rest of my life, Beauty Bay. Price amazing, quality freaking outstanding like i have never had a mishap with them and i don't think i ever will because they just know how to do our shadows okay next row which is the like purples oranges first we have dreamland which is the lighter purple so this is dreamland just look at that swatch just look then we have blaze which is the orange it looks stunning then we have serene which is the darkest purple and definitely the softest that looks gorge and then finally we have paradise which is this teal green and i'm not surprised they have a teal green in here because the whole collection is teal green so that is the final row i actually really like that i want to do two different butterflies and two different eyes and i feel like that's just something that we need to do let's get into this get some juice I'm actually trying to think of what colours to do. So I definitely want an eye with like the purples and pinks here with the green liner. And then I think we'll do the opposite on this eye. So I think we can go in with like the greens and like a bit of the orange maybe. We could actually do like a mini butterfly on my face somewhere with the orange and the red. But we'll see what we do. We're going to try and test out as many shades as possible in this video. Get yourself a snack. Might be a long one. Okay, let me blend out my creases. This is XF Revolution Concealer on my lid, you guys already know. I'm actually going to go in with this small pack of brush from Jessup. Uh, this is their 226 smudger. And I'm going to start off light in the corner. And we're going to do like the shape. So I'm going to go in with the... Actually, yeah, no. I'm going to go in with the pink. Oh my god. Just... <sighs> Beauty Bay. Look at the pigmentation. It's insane. Look at that on my eye. Let's actually zoom you in whilst I'm doing this. So you can actually see what I'm doing. And I can lean back instead of hurting my back. I have a tiny bit of fallout there. But to be honest these are pressed pigments. So I expect it. Oh look at that. Next I'm going to go into the shade Dreamland. Which is the purple. We're going to place that right here. And carry on the shape. That actually looks really good. Kind of mapping out a line in which I want it. 
And then we're gonna go out with the darkest purple, which is Serene. On the same brush, because it just makes my life a lot easier. It's like a bluey purple, but I think it works. You don't have to get this completely neat, but I'm trying to just kind of get like a rough outline. So when I do the lines and stuff, it just, it has something underneath. Ooh, really? That actually looks stunning. They just work so well together. I don't, but you may just, they, they're amazing. And you can't tell me they're not. I'm gonna go back into this bliss shade. I wanna like blend these shades together a little bit more with a fluffy brush instead of a packer brush. Press pigments are definitely a lot harder to work with, but it's always worth it because you get so much pigmentation, it's unreal. There we go. I wish this actually had like a yellow in for like my inner corner, but it doesn't, so pretty sad. Like I wish they took like one of the green ducks are very similar and put a yellow. Now I'm gonna do this eye with the pattern. Because it kill you makes you stronger. Pretty. Now we get another pack of brush. A different one from a different brand. This is from a Neil Beauty. You watched me test out this brand. This mirror. Oh yeah, this palette has a mirror as well. Sorry, I'm not very the best. For £10, this palette is actually pretty freaking good at the moment. Like, I'm kind of in love. Okay, I want green and the blue, maybe. You know what? Let's start off by putting this colour on my outer corner. That's pretty. Is this brush wet? Dry. Look at that pigmentation. Those are definitely two different shapes. <laughs> this one goes out, this one goes whoop. So we might have to figure this one out off camera. So pretty. Okay, now I wanna go in with this green on the middle bit. Look how vibrant this pastel green is. There's still pastels in this like palette, but there's like some vibrant, like deep shades, which I'm happy they've still kept a few pastels because I love pastel shades. And who doesn't? Cause look how vibrant these are. They are just sticking so well. I might actually do like an orange liner on this one or a pink. Let me just slightly bring this green with the blue a little bit and mesh it together. Because I am doing a pack on type of like look. It's a lot harder to blend stuff. Okay, now I'm done with that green. I'm going to go in with this green, which is Eden, which is like a true lime green. This collection came out with a full on liner palette and if you think i'm not going to at least test like three out of five of them then we've got a problem here oh i like that i like that a lot oh pretty i'm so happy with how this is looking this eye looks so like sea type of vibes and i'm loving it okay now this was actually really really good i'm actually really happy with how this has turned out on my eyes at the moment now let's try out the liners these you don't realize how heavy these are i want to know how many grams of product there's 17 basically 17 grams of product which is pretty freaking good create your own utopia with our aqua liner palette each ultra pigmented water activated line dries down to a budge proof finish at last all day get ready to experiment line looks that are gonna get you noticed thing is these are like liner colors that i don't own and i'm so happy to finally have this can you come out with more colors please like can you come out with like a whole range of like different ones of these and i'll buy every single one of them from like pastel purple to deep purple and do every single color maybe yeah thank you okay now i've got to think of what colors i want on what i want something contrasting i think on this eye i'm actually going to do the pink to contrast with this um and then on this eye or i could do purple on the side to resemble it resemble this one and then i could do this green to resemble this one on that eye yeah let me do that and then we can use the other colors and we can do like a bottom moment of a butterfly you get what i mean let me actually check what a butterfly looks like and then i'll be back okay i'm now back so to do the purple on this eye i've kind of got the rough shape to do so this purple looks so pigmented and you're probably not going to see me do this full on purple like wing because i always hunt when i do liner but i'll try and show you as much as possible but i'm actually really impressed with these products so far who's trying to get into my building i can hear you ringing <sighs> just doing it slowly 
Look how pigmented that is. And this is the first time Beauty Bay have come out with liners. And you know what? I am very impressed with this. Like you really, you need the tiniest amount and you're getting this perfect little line. And I usually take ages doing this. This has only taken me a minute so far. I've just thought of something. I can use the pink liner on this side in the inner part and I can do the same with the other liner on that because I've got a blue and a green. Fuck yeah. These are the easiest liners I've ever worked with. Easily. Now I kind of need to do a purple line but I also don't want to do that. Should we just kind of keep it like that and then do like a graphic moment? Because if I turn this into a butterfly I might actually make a very big mistake. Very happy with that. Now where's my... It's just so pretty. Okay. Now I'm going to wet the pink and then we're going to get into using this one. Because I want to use so many colours. I try when I do like reviews to use as many as possible so then my like honest review is of the majority of the product not just a little bit of it i actually like the size pan of these as well makes it really easy and then i've used the clear bit as like a little palette holder like of a bit of the color you could even mix your own shades be a little artiste over here like okay dipping into a tiny bit of it just by adding water you can kind of mix them there okay let me wipe the brush and then i can just blend yay look at that little blend i just did so i just had to transfer over thing because my card gets full really quickly but as i was off i put the orange in my inner corner and genuine telling you it took me about four seconds Ooh, done it just it's so easy to do and now let's do the other right and then we can finish off this look i'm actually so impressed with this collection so far like it's something that they haven't done before like they've done like eyeshadow palette chair but this especially is something that they just haven't done before and it's amazing like absolutely stunning don't even know what to say the other eyes can be a little bit more less vibrant but let me now use this blue and green so the blue on the outer bit just to kind of mimic this and then the green on the inner part this is going to be less vibrant because obviously these are neon shades and these aren't let's start off with the green it's like i'm making my own little concoction Stir, stir, stir. I actually really like this little palette. It's just so handy. Beautiful shades in as well. Okay, we're now on the green and this is gonna go on this side. Look at that. Did you just see how easy and quick that was? Now let me just quickly go over it a bit. That's already done. Like, uh, <laughs> you guys go get it. It's only 12 pounds and then Beauty Bay are most likely gonna make this limited edition or something stupid like that. Because I did that with the M Magic palette. And I was so upset when they did that. Beauty Bay, I love you and all, but please, bring back that palette. Like, I've got it, but other people need it. Okay, now it's the blue. It is the blue. So I'm going to start here. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Do you see how easy this is? Like, I'm not lying when I say these are the easiest liners I have ever used. Just look at my eyeballs. That's all I have to say. All I have to say. So my look is done. And then I get my wet wipe and clean the little dish panel. And then I can reuse it. Huh. Nice and clean. Snap back. And that's the shades. These have shocked me. I want another one just in case it runs out and they make it out of stock. But I'm going to quickly go off camera, pop a lash on, put some mascara on, just kind of finish the look really. And then I'll be back to do my final review and tell you my full on opinion, everything about this collection and whether you should be buying it or not. So I'll see you then. Hi guys, I am now back with my lashes on and like the full on look finish. Let me just zoom you in and show you this. Whoa. Oh, we are zoomed in. <laughs> Oh, that's my face. So this is the final little look we have got. So we've got the purple side with like the pastel liners. And then we've got the pastel liners with the vibrant, um, pastel shadows with the vibrant liners. And I am impressed. Woo! Beauty Bay has once again not failed. And I am telling you now, if you haven't already picked this collection up, go get it. It is sick. First of all, the palette is £10. You get eight shades. The shades are huge and they're pigmented. They're all pressed pigments. So you're getting pure pigment, which can be quite expensive. And just think when you're buying pigment pots, you're paying like £6 a pot. You get a full on pressed pigment palette for £10. The liner palette, I've brought liners for £12 each and you get five for £12. And they are the easiest liners I have ever used in my entire life. So if you haven't picked up this collection already, please do, because genuinely, 
amazing. The only thing that I haven't been able to test today is just the smashed eyeshadow because it's broken and I don't want to get it absolutely everywhere. So if I do get a replacement of this, I'll do it in a, like, a first impressions video. I'll pop this in. But for today's video, I can't really tell you whether this looks. Thing is, it looks nice in its packaging. Um, it looks very like shimmery and everything and it looks like it will be gorgeous. It's just broken. So um, mailman really does need to be careful with my parcels. But it does look stunning. It's just gonna go absolutely everywhere i got like the pinky gold shade so this is what it looks like so it does look pretty i do want to swatch it for you it's just so broken so sad let me try and press it down a little bit okay so it's like it is a full-on like duochrome so it goes from pink to gold if you can see and this is what it looks like look at that there's the pink and then you hit the gold pink Bold. like it's genuinely stunning mine's just absolutely smashed it's either that or i'll have to get rubbing alcohol or something to fix it but now i've got eyeshadow absolutely over it even on the lid how have i got it there just swatch some more it's fine but yeah hopefully me and beauty bay can figure out that whole little situation and we can test those out in a different video maybe but they do look stunning like look at that dual chromeness and it genuinely looks stunning but yeah if you guys aren't already subscribed please do make sure that you are if you've got any friends that you know that would love my videos please do come join the family we're nearly a thousand subscribers and it is insane we've only got three more months until it all kind of rewinds and i have to do four thousand watch hours all over again thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you didn't already please do leave a like and a comment down below subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time i upload i know a lot of you literally today when i posted my self video so many people were like oh what's happened i was like well it's bugging out and they were like i've got the notification now i can't watch it i was like youtube is just having a meltdown with me right now i'm so sorry i'll be back on it but so many people actually enjoy watching my videos and have their notification bell on it really does help because you know what you i make these videos for you guys to enjoy i enjoy filming them the editing of it is a little look like seven hours of editing for a two hour worth of video <sighs> I've got a long night ahead of me. This video will be up tomorrow morning. So yeah, I've got to edit. I'll see you then. I'll see you next time on the new video.